Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Chorus Arcade. In today's video, I will be talking about the probable questions for the subject C programming for problem solving, which is in the first year of the V2 syllabus of engineering. This subject C programming for problem solving is in both the semesters depending on the cycle. It can be either the chemistry cycle or the physics cycle. Before starting the video, I would like to request to people to please like and share our videos and subscribe to our channel Chorus Arcade and press the bell icon so that you receive notifications about our latest updates and also you do not miss out on our future videos. Thank you. So let's get started. As I told, today I will be sharing with you people all the probable questions for the subject C programming for problem solving, which is in the first year syllabus of VTU engineering. So let's get started. So here, as you can see, I have prepared a PDF of the probable questions. Let me open it for you. As you can see here on my screen, this is the subject name C programming for problem solving. And these are all the probable questions for all the modules. And the subject code is 18 CPS 13 bar 23. It depends on the cycle, whether it is P cycle, physics cycle or C cycle, chemistry cycle, the subject code varies. So let us start with the questions from module one. So here, as you can see, this is the probable questions for module one. So the first question is define a variable, discuss the rules for constructing variables in C language. So here, you have to write the definition of variables and then you have to discuss the rules for construction of variables. Then let us move on to the next one. Write in brief about the history and advantages of C language. So if you want to know more about these questions, you can please follow our playlist, which is dedicated to module one, module two and module three. And we are working on the other two modules as well. So it will be launched soon. So you can learn about all these questions from our playlists. So the third question is discuss in detail about the input and output devices. You will get all these details in our playlist. Then the fourth question from module one is, what do you mean by an operator? Explain the different types of operators. The fifth one is, explain the components of a computer with the help of a neat and level block diagram. And then, the next question is, with the help of an example, explain the structure of a C program. So you can really go to the playlist where we have described with a very good block diagram, the structure of a C program. And then the next question is, with the help of a block diagram, explain the steps involved in the execution of a C program. You will find this question also in our playlist. So the next question is, with the help of suitable examples, explain constants, variables, and data types. So here you have to explain about the constants, the variables, and data types. The next question is, draw a flowchart to illustrate the calculation of simple interest. Also, write a C program to execute the same. So here you have to draw a flowchart describing how the steps to calculate simple interest is done. And then you have to write a C program to execute the calculation of simple interest. Let us go on to module two now. Here in this module, you can see write a C program for the computation of binomial coefficients. Similarly, write a C program for plotting of the Pascal's triangle. Again, write a C program for finding the roots of a quadratic equation. The fourth one is write a C program to check whether a given number is a palindrome or not. And then the fifth question is, with the help of examples, explain the following, which are the get care and the put care functions. So you will get all this information in our videos for the C programming and problem solving playlist, which we have prepared, dedicated for you. And the sixth question is, explain the following with the help of examples, the switch statement and the conditional operator. You will get all this data in our videos. And then the next question is explain in detail about the jumps in loops. Here, the three types of jumps in loops are break statement, the continue statement and the go to statement. 
you will also learn about all these things in our videos. So I request you to please go to our videos and learn more about these questions so that you can answer them easily in your exam. The next probable question is explain in detail about the decision making and branching statements in C programming. So here you have to describe about the branching statements. And the next question is explain in detail about the decision making and looping statements like for loops, while loops, do while and all this. So you can please go to our video section. I will give the link in the description from where you can easily identify and write the precise answer to these questions. Now let us move on to module 3. Here you can see write a C program for the execution of linear search, then binary search, then selection short and then the bubble short. We have completed all these questions for you as videos so that you can understand with the help of animations and graphics very easily all these critical concepts. So this will make it very easier for you to write the answers in the examination. And then the next one is write a C program to read a series of words from a terminal using the scanf function. We have prepared a example of this also in our playlist. You can please go to the video and check out. So let us go on to the next question. Here you can see what do you mean by an array? With the help of suitable examples, explain the declaration and initialization of one dimensional and two dimensional arrays in C programming. So you can please go to our playlist again and check out how you should write the answers. Because if you understand the theory and the basics behind the question, then it will be very easy for you to write in the examinations. Let us move on to the next question. Or precisely, let us move on to module 4. Here, this is about functions and recursions. So, first question is, what do you mean by recursion? Explain with the help of an example. Again, the second question is, with the help of examples, explain the following. Return statements in functions and the passing parameters in functions. The third question is, explain with suitable examples the following terms. Function definition, function call, function prototype. The next question is explain the following function call by value and then function call by reference. The fifth one is write a C program to find the nth term of a Fibonacci series. And the last question of module 4 is write a C program to find the factorial of a given number. Use functions to execute the same. So here these are two programs. If you cover all these questions, I am 100% sure that you will be able to secure good marks in your examination because we have selected these questions which have been common in the previous examinations. So I guarantee you if you study from these questions, it will be very easy for you to attempt your examinations and you will secure good marks. Then let me go on to module 5 here. Explain in detail about the preprocessor directives in C programming. So here you have to explain about the preprocessor directives like hash, hash include, etc, etc. And then let, let us move on to the next question. The next question is, what do you mean by pointers? With the help of suitable examples, explain in detail about the declaration and initialization of pointers in C programming. So here you have to describe pointers and with the help of examples or programs, you have to show how you can declare and initialize the pointers in C programming. Then the next question or the third one is, what do you mean by dynamic memory allocation? Explain in detail about the different dynamic memory allocation functions in C programming. Here you have to talk about the types of dynamic memory allocations. Let us move on to the next question. What do you mean by a structure? With the help of suitable examples, describe the declaration and initialization of structure variables. So with this, we have come to the end of all the probable questions which we have in all the five modules. So I will share with you this PDF in my description so that you can go through the questions. And I assure you, if you go through all these questions, you will definitely score good marks in your examination. And if you find this PDF interesting and important, please share it with your friends. And also, 
to students who might be from other colleges because it is really important and just because it covers all the common questions which can be probable for your examinations i request you to please share it with everyone you know so this is all about this video guys i hope you liked it and if you have any doubts regarding the questions you can please share your doubts in the comment section i will definitely try to clear all those and i am definitely going to share this pdf file with you in the link so that you can download it and go through it properly and finally i want to end this video by telling all the students all the best to prepare well for the examinations and please go through all the questions properly because it will almost cover your entire syllabus and you will have a very good knowledge about how to approach the examination so all the best guys thank you and see you in our next video so this is all about this video guys thanks for watching hope you like the video and if you like it then tell us in the comment section below if you have any doubts then post them in the comment section i will definitely try to clear those doubts also like share and subscribe to our channel codes arcade and press the bell icon so that you will get a notification when we post a new video thank you happy learning